All right. Uh, this is, I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. Um, this is the Line 6 M13 Stomp Box Modeler. And I just this past week ordered the Tech 21 MIDI Mongoose to control the, uh, the scenes within the M13. Uh, basically what the Mongoose does for me, instead of going through a bunch of different foot switches to get to what I want to get to, the Mongoose just gets me where I want at the push of a button. And I have these first three labeled, my lead sound, my clean sound, and my classic sound. And we are going to power this up. And now you see everything is on. And what I'll do is push the buttons just so you can see how quick and easy it is to go between the scenes that I want. See that? The push of a button gives me the different uh, scenes that I'm looking for. And what's cool is while you're in that particular scene, you're still able to pick and choose what you want to turn on and off. And you can still just go back to a completely different scene. Uh, works fantastic. You just have to make sure that when you get your 5-pin cable, and make sure you get a 5-pin. I found out the hard way by ordering a 7-pin, thinking that um, the M13 would support it, and it doesn't unfortunately, but uh, I found out that it only has a 5-pin uh, MIDI in and out. So I had to get a, uh, a separate cord to power the uh, MIDI Mongoose. You can use a 9-volt battery, but I'd rather have power going straight to it constantly without having to worry about changing batteries. But anyway, the moment you plug these two together, uh, you have to go into your uh, scene setup. I'm sorry, not the scene setup. You have to go into the setup period for the M13 and what it does. Actually, I can do that right now. You hold the button down and it brings up all the different scenes and I believe, let's see, that's the one there. You have to go to the MIDI part and switch the channel to channel 1 because the MIDI mongoose comes um, factory on channel one. So that's the only thing you have to do. I believe you use this knob to change the channels. Yeah, but very simple. You just go to channel one and take yourself back out and that's it. And it just makes things so much easier. Uh, it's actually a dream. It's very inspiring. You don't have to push a bunch of different buttons to get to certain scenes. In the touch of a button, um, you get exactly what you're shooting for. And I hope this video is helpful to anybody else who um, might be using this particular effect system. Hopefully it'll um, help you along. Thanks for watching the video.